Three, two, one, action, quiet on set. Shut up, cricket. <laughs> oh, that is a cricket. Little bastard, huh? Hey guys, Dustin with Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. Today, I'm joined by Dave from Anthem Wheels. Hey guys, happy to be here. We are, <laughs> what are you doing? You just kicked the tripod, <laughs> Parker. <laughs> Restart. Nope, we're nope, running with it. So we're back with another episode of From the Gallery. That's where we take your gallery ads, rate them on a scale of one to 10. One being not so hot, 10 being pretty freaking awesome, of course. Before we do that though, I have to tell you, we're doing a full build giveaway. And we partnered with Anthem to do it. So Anthem Wheels Toyota Tires, ready lift suspension, plus we are making a donation to the Nine Line Foundation, which is a charity that is dedicated to working with critically wounded veterans, getting them back into everyday life. They're actually working on building a tiny home village, which is pretty freaking fantastic if you ask me. So to get entered to win, customoffsets.com forward slash giveaway or Anthem Wheels or the Nine Line website as well. You can find it there on all three websites and it'll take you to the same place. So. Ready to do this? Let's roll. All right. So up first, 2004 Dodge Ram 2500 Cummins, because I see the C badge, right? Yeah. Anthem Instigator 17 by nine plus zeros, Kanadi Mud Hogs in a 35 12 and a half with a three inch rough country suspension lift kit. I like the wheel and tire package right off the bat. Personally, I'm a huge fan of these Kanadi tires. I mean, a 35 12 and a half set of four, you're under 900 bucks for those. Right, exactly. You can really set up your vehicle and, and do it affordably without yeah. breaking the bank and then save your money for all the other modifications. Yeah, I mean, all said and done, he's into this whole package for probably about 2,000 bucks or a little more. You know, pretty stock body truck otherwise. It, just looking at the uh, the pictures that he's uploaded, you can tell, I mean, it's dust on the wheels, so he's getting out and the pictures are out in a field somewhere. He's definitely using the truck. It looks Correct. like a very utility truck. Like it's it's not built to go to a show. It's, Correct. it's not built. He knows he's not going to SEMA. He built his truck for a purpose and happy to use it. I really like the way these <laughs> instigators low with the rest of the truck, right? So yeah. it's got the little rivets around the outside, and then it's got the little milled accents inside the spokes. It really ties in the grill and that chrome door guard, and obviously the come and see, right? And yep. then the bumper and his uh, tailpipe. Let's rate it, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, seven. Six. It'd be a great farm truck or ranch truck uh, slash daily driver, you know. Personally, I it's a little bit too much chrome for me, I think. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see I some agree. of that blacked out, uh, match the window tint, and then you know you could maybe play with some some bumpers or something in there as well. I agree, especially on the chrome, right? So I hate door guards. That's the first thing that I do <laughs> every time I get a truck is I pull off all the door guards. I don't, uh, don't like them. The chrome door handles and then the chrome uh, step just looks like a line of three and then the line on the, uh, the bed of the truck. Just a little bit too much going on right there for me. All right, moving on. <clears throat> we have a 2019 Ford yeah. F-150 on the Defenders this time. I, I forgot to mention, these are all Anthem trucks, by the way. I forgot that before, but we're, we're doing that. <laughs> You're crazy. So he's on the Defenders, 20 by 10 minus 24 on the Nitto Ridge Graps and a 35 12 and a half with a six inch BDS suspension lift kit. This thing is bitching. <laughs> I like everything on this truck I really, really like. And by the way, right, so the Nitto Ridge Grappler is our top selling tire for wheel and yep. tire packages at anthemwheels.com. Plug, plug, plug. Um, <laughs> and he's running the Anthem Defenders, so yep. which are recently retired wheels. So if you see an, a set of Anthem Defenders on the website that you really, really like, jump on them quick, man, because once these wheels are gone, they are no longer. Yeah, it's a neat looking truck, that steel gray kind of. He's got the big old light bar on the top. BDS coilover kit, which is a fantastic lift choice. They ride super good. He's pretty much touched, touched it all in this thing, you know. Yeah, this is a this is a really good truck. This is it, man. This is Anthem right here. <laughs> yeah. The dude is flying the American flag, man. You got old glory on the back. You're out. It looks like he's in the high desert somewhere. Just having fun. Yeah. This is it, man. Absolutely. Ready to rate it? Yeah, I think I am. All right. Three, two, one, nine. Eight. I yeah. think it's cool. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. It's a neat truck. The light bar is probably a bit much for me on the top. And yeah. for that reason, I, I knocked a point off, but it's a really unique build. You don't see a lot of guys do stuff like this, especially to that extent, chase rack, front and rear bumpers, LEDs mm -hmm. everywhere, you know. It, it's a fantastic truck build. I love the color. And so it's all, it's the satin black bumper and the steps and, yep. and the mirrors and the chase rack and everything just flows so well together. And I love this color on a truck. What I don't care for is the light bar up top. Yep. Man, I, I've had them on my previous builds, um, and they throw off a lot of light, but they also throw a lot of light on the hood, and Back at your I eyeballs, yeah. 
Uh, so that was really the only reason I marked it down a little bit, but man, I love, love, love this truck, even for a Ford. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, speak of the devil, a hey. 1998 Chevy K2500 on the Anthem Equalizers in a 22 by 14 minus 76, which is one of the, the biggest wheels you guys have ever offered. Yeah, offered. Offered, sense, correct. Right? So correct. we no longer make this, the 22 by 14, so again, if you want that size wheel and you see it on the website, jump quick. Yep. He's got the Super Swamper TSL Boggers, which is an iconic tire choice in a 42, 13 and a half and a greater than 12 inch lift kit. And I can tell you certainly that this is, yeah, 20 inch suspension lift made in house. Oh yeah. Jesus, 12 inch coilovers in the front and semi airbags in the rear. Man, super duty axles. He's not kidding, wow. legit airbags out of the back of a dump truck. Extended cab long box, 90s Chevy truck, and the iconic two-tone paint nonetheless. Man, I tell you, so long beds get so much hate yeah. all over the internet, but I think especially on this truck, and because the 20 inch lift, Because right? it's so big. Like you can't even tell it's a long box. This thing is beautiful. It's it, What's crazy to me is it's this big and it still has all the stock body features. So stock bumpers, stock mirrors, still has the cab lights, everything about it, the door molding is still on there. It legit looks like you just took like your yeah. dad's 98 Chevy pickup and just lifted it up. I like that it looks like a toy, right? Yeah. Like I just want to pick this up and, and, and yeah. play with it with my son. Like yeah. this is it, dude. This is a beautiful, beautiful truck. This thing is cool. Let's rate it. Are you ready? All right, I'm ready to rate it. Three, two, one, ten. Nine and a half. I couldn't not. I had to give it a 10. And it's probably uh, not the most in-depth truck I've ever seen, mm -hmm. but 16-year-old me wanted this in the worst way. Yeah, yeah. So for that reason, I couldn't not rate it that big. It's huge. It's still stock body. It reminds me of when I was in high school. It's fantastic. I'm about it. It's a beautiful truck. I love the 4x4 on the back. How it, it, everything from the rocker panels up yeah. looks like a regular stock truck, and I love it. I, I think the only thing that I would change is maybe color match the grill on the front. Um, hey, we're trying to make a movie here. <laughs> Blair, come rate this. Come here. Come on, come on. Come, on. come, on. come rate this. Rate this truck, three, two, one. What do you think? We need a split. Hell yeah, solid axle front end, OBS. So scale of one to 10. That's a 10, bud. Bam! Right. 10 it is. <laughs> it's beautiful, it really it, is. It's such a neat truck. You don't see those very often. All right, up next. 2014 GMC Sierra 1500 on the Anthem Gunners in a 20 by 12 minus 44. Cooper Discover STT Pros in a 37 by 13 and a half with a nine inch Magoy suspension lift kit. This one hits me in the feels. This white, uh, that the GMC truck specifically, yeah. makes me feel some type of way. Cause it's like a satin pearl white. It's not it's like a gloss white. It's got so much white. depth in the yeah. paint itself. <laughs> I actually got to see this truck and meet, Aaron is the owner. Okay. So he, uh, I met him at Lifted Truck Nationals okay. two years ago. This truck is beautiful. Everything from the accents on a suspension to the, the accents on the wheel, the grill. So it's a nine inch Magoy's uh, lift kit with the track bars. Uh, slight rub at full turn, which I would expect of the 37, even with a nine inch lift. Man, McGoy's, just real quick, McGoy's suspension has probably the best looking cross member in the, in the market right yes. now. Yes, everything so. flows together so well with the McGoy's kit. Yeah. And then when you start doing some custom colors or with or something on it, man, it's awesome. Correct. It flows. Let's rate it. Cool. Three, two, one, nine. eight and a half. Go I ahead. did nine. Uh, if it was a Duramax, a 2500, I, I probably would have given it a 10, but that's a lot. Like that's a lot of wheel and tire to be moving for a 1500. Oh yeah, you're um, definitely gonna feel that when you put the hammer down. Even if it does have the six tuning, you're still gonna feel that, yeah. you know? So, so it's a beautiful truck, it looks great. Like I said, that's a lot of mass to start turning uh, as you're going up a hill. I would personally like to see maybe some front bumper action. These, there's a lot of really solid bumper options for these mm -hmm. trucks. But other than that, I think he's got a great start. It's a beautiful truck. Um, I, I like it, yeah. Yeah, Aaron did a great job with this one. All right, last, but certainly not least, we have a 2015 <laughs> Toyota Tundra. Uh, this one is on the Anthem Avengers in a 20 by 12 minus 44 on the BFG Mud Terrains in a 37, 13 and a half with an eight inch ready lift suspension kit. This is Ron's truck, isn't it? Yeah, it is, <laughs> this is. This is Ron's truck before phase one yeah, right yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 eight inch ready lift just rubs 
Yep, we, we knew that. <laughs> oh man, this is, I believe this was right when the Avenger came out, right? Yep, this, oh. I think Ron was the very first person to run the Avenger uh, and we put him on his truck and man, when we talk about wheels flowing with headlights, yes. this is it, yep. right? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's got the, the headlight has that little notch and then it's got like the wheel also has the, the windows are almost pointed towards the back and it just, it feeds right into the whole yeah. truck, so. Oh, feels directional. Yeah, correct. You know, got, it's not a directional wheel, but it has that, has that feel to it. Correct. He's got the uh, the aftermarket front grill there with the, you know, like I'll call them the Raptor style lights up in the front. Yeah. I cannot say that enough. It's one of my favorite wheels Anthem has ever put out. And those BFG, man, the, the KM3s, they did a great job with this wheel. I'm running the same tire on my truck. and. For a mud tire, mm -hmm. extremely quiet going down the highway. Yeah. Um, yeah, they did a great job, and this is a great setup right here. Absolutely. Just a really well put together truck overall. Aftermarket headlights, obviously there, we know there's a whole lot more done to this truck now than what was in the photos, but this was probably my favorite stage of this truck, to be honest with you. I agree. I think when he put the uh, the rack on the bed and then he switched out the bumpers and everything else, and then the tire rack on the back, it got to be a little bit too much. Yep. Um, looks amazing, don't yeah. get me wrong. But I agree. Yep. This version of the truck is perfect. All right, let's rate it. Yep. Three, two, one, zero. Eight. Oh! I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Ron watches this one. <laughs> no, it, that's an eight, man. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a beautiful, beautiful truck. Again, same reason, right? 37s on 15 yeah. and a half. That's a lot of mass to be turning Correct. on a Tundra. Yeah, that's a lot of wheel and tire in there. And I've driven this truck. I can tell you it is as dog-ish as, dog <laughs> as you think it would be. I really like the wheel and tire package. The only thing that does it for me is I'm not a huge Tundra guy. And that's yeah. nothing against them. I'm just not a big fan of them. They're not really my taste, but it's cool because, I mean, that's why there's 12 different truck manufacturers in yeah, the market. Absolutely. You know, so. Uh, I'm not a big fan of black trucks, yep. right? I, I've had a couple black vehicles in the past and you get a little bit of hail or They're salt always like dirty. we see right here. They are always dirty no matter how much you clean them. That said, there's nothing more beautiful than a clean black truck. They're just hard to keep that way. Yeah, correct. They look really good when you detail them and then you roll them outside and they're instantly dirty. Yep. So, I like uh, I like what he did with the Raptor style lights. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a big fan when people only put three. I feel like you're being too much <laughs> like the Raptor. Ron did five. Uh, it flows really, really well with this truck. Yeah, it looks uh, he good. He did a great there. job building it. Absolutely. Well, there's another episode of From the Gallery. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Dave, of course, for coming up to hang out with us today, rating right a couple trucks. Remember, Wheel Star Suspension, CustomOffsets.com. Also, if you want the chance for your truck to be featured, you're going to want to add it to our gallery. That's where we pull these from. You can do that at CustomOffsets.com forward slash add. And that's it. Cool. We're out. Thanks, brother. Peace.